word once given. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. <laughs> Land right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were. And that's what I missed last time when I accidentally skipped over that cutscene after speaking to the Baron as Garalt. That was a just a video from YouTube that you were watching there. I was watching that for the first time. I was very intrigued to see exactly what had happened. Right. Thanks for joining me. I am AV Storyteller and this is my Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt. Let's get back into it. We rejoined Garalt. Jumping for joy outside Graham's house. We have the remains of Annabelle from the Tower of Mice with us on our belongings. Then we are going to go to Graham and see what he has to say about abandoning Annabelle. Just make sure everything is recording properly. That seems fine. Well, here's something I discovered. Um, he says, and now he can't do it. <laughs> what are you doing, Garl? <laughs> you crazy fool. Ah, uh, sigh. There we go. You can climb up on top of the uh, houses. 
which is a nice little touch give you a bird's eye view of the area yeah. and that's the tower of mice that I was talking about anyway Blish. let's go speak to Graham knock knock I want to talk you death damn it I told you who are you been to fight Al. I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Simple fisherman. Hear about Annabelle. Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison, and I, I couldn't save her. You loved Annabelle. Did you love her? I, something mad. Loved her so deep, I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter in a plain lout. What happened? What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch, and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me, seems I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. Her, Annabelle, and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. What exactly did you say? Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I... don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time, but can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. These are powerful potions that were there to convince everyone it's not your fault. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. You might have buried her if alive. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. You can still help. Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But what can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are... her bones? Yes. Give them here. Pocket-sized bones, apparently. 
Tell Kira you've listed the curse on Fike Island. Received 300 experience points. Character entry updated, Annabelle. Character entry updated, Graham. Seems a bit of a common name, sorry to any Grahams out there. For a fantasy setting. I was a simple fisherman from my even simpler village. Or Orton, yet the role he played in local events was anything but Fike Al, the Tower of the Curse, he had been a key part of it all. Geralt had learned for Annabella about the deep things the two had shared, but the rest of their tragic story only emerged later. I bet Dandelion's lapping up this story. Probably throwing an errant knight here or there. Exactly how the young man had participated in the incident in the tower remains rather unclear. What was certain was that he tried to defend his beloved and fled Fike Island right after what he thought was her death. Sorry that what poor fishermen in love with their lord's daughters were are uh, not want to end happily. But even the most tragic, cruel poet would find that Grimm and Annabelle's experience excessively cruel. Their desire for happiness and mutual love were defeated by the cruelty of fate and the greed of men, damning the young couple to eternal suffering. Grimm without his love at his side, Annabelle as a tortured soul wandering the living and the dead, between the living and the dead. There was nothing left to the Witcher but to bring the young man Annabelle's earthly remains, hoping that a proper burial would bring peace to the girl's spirit and lift the curse. Annabelle. Galak encountered this young woman's ghost in the utmost room in the haunted tower of Fight Arl. She told him that in life she had been the local Dord's daughter and a real beauty. When enraged peasants stormed the tower, she feared they would ravage her honour if they found her alive, and so took a magic potion that put her into a corpse-like state of paralysis. When she awoke, she found herself living, lying, amidst the bodies of her families and servants, unable to move. She watched in hapless horror as rats festered on the piles of corpses and began to nibble on her as well. This grisly death must have somehow put a curse on her and the tower, for her ghost had wandered it in reckless torment ever since. Garal engaged his vast experience with such curses to search for a possible solution. Having learned that Annabel had loved a simple fisherman named Grimm, Garal decided this man and the bond of true love the two you shared could be their salvation. Garal agreed to take the young woman's remains to her love to have him give her a proper burial. Garal hoped this would lift the evil spell on the cursed island and bring Annabel peace at long last. nasty. They used to actually torture prisoners in the Tower of London uh, with rats. They used to chain, tie the man down, the prisoner down on the chair, face up, um, with a bare chest, and they would put a, rat, uh, a cage, a circle of cage, on top of the person's chest, and then remove the bottom of the cage, and the rat would literally eat their way through the man's chest to the outside. All the while, uh, he would be questioned. True story. What the hell was that? Quest updated. Tower of mice. Tower full of mice. Investigate what happened. Uh, okay, pretty much what we've already discussed. Grout thought taking the remains to the fisherman would resolve everything, but instead it led to catastrophe. Annabelle, he discovered, was not an unfortunate soul, but a dangerous plague maiden. The race has tricked Geralt when he removed Annabelle's remains from the tower. The plague maiden was freed from her prison and ventured out into the world to spread disease and pestilence. Not on my goddamn watch. Looks like rain. Where did Graham go? The evil that pass. Damn it. Plague maiden. What? I 
can't see him anywhere. Was I supposed to see him? Where would he have gone? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hope we get to meet this plague maiden again, but that makes no sense. Why would I tell Kiwi you've listed the curse? Haven't really. Just, well, sent it out into the world. Investigate what has happened. Okay, yeah, please. Investigate what happened a lot. Thank you. Where am I? She's a pester, and now she's free. Quest update, the Tower Full of Mice. Uh, character updated, Grim. Uh, sadly, what Geralt took to be the ghost of an innocent woman was in fact death and disease in spirit form. A being known as a pester or plague maiden, having lured Geralt into the open, uh, it killed the unfortunate Graham and then escaped to spread the pox and feed on human suffering. It is possible that this incident caused a local outbreak of uh, Catriona that devastated the kingdom of Karak and sowed the seeds of the coastal city's ultimate downfall. Is this some like some backstory from from one of the books? It is possible that this incident caused a local outbreak of uh, Catriona that devastated the kingdom of Karak and sowed the seeds of the coastal city's ultimate downfall. Where's the entry for Graham? Yet, yeah, though the evil spirit was indeed broken, this story still did not have a happy ending. A devious ghost of the, sp of the plague was freed and Graham became its first victim. Where's this magic lamp? Oh, the twist! That horrible twist! So Annabelle had died, obviously, but that was not her ghost. Rats have suddenly appeared. Under the disease called Catriona. Lifted the curse. So, why was this pester spirit on the island? Was it summoned because of the experiment? Because of the tragedy of the death? Because of the rats? What caused the pester to be there? And what caused the pester to be... So it was the bones of the pester. So that was a spirit that had been alive at one point and then killed at some point in the past. May not be recent, may have been like ancient history. Damn it. Or was it really Annabelle's spirit that had been twisted because of the uh, what had happened and turned into a pester? I have no idea. Next course of action. Probably got to the notice board if nothing else. Bought Maker's Hut. And then Kira. Get back to the main quest here. Am 
my gut would have said go to Skellige next to try and find Siri. But seeing as Pies of Novigrad is level 10, it seems to suggest that that is what they had in mind to do first, to visit Triss in her house. Truth in the Stars, Suitseer. That might be worth having a quick look at. Where's that? So we've got a few quests that we could do. That seems a bit out of the way. Go tracking that down. Mm, these are all armor quests. Fist quest. Kind of got to the point where it's kind of mop up all the side quests before moving on to the next big thing, which is Novigrad. Skellige, Skellige, Skellige. Hmm. Dumb Shrine. Where's the other Dumb Shrine? I'm very interested what the Susia has to say, but that's so far out of the way. I think I'll do this, then fix the damage sh shrine, then go speak to Kira. How are we doing for time? Doing absolutely fine. Oh, I hope we come across that plague maiden again. Top of the day. Top of the day to you. I was in Ireland just the other week. First time. It was awesome. Jump around. Top of the morning dear. Where's this notice board? Man need let all read and know. Nursery rhyme. Missing soldier. Karen need. New marker. Undiscovered location. Contract missing soldier. Let's read this. Let it be known that the Imperial Army is in need of a man who knows the area, a hunter or a scout, for example, to help us find a missing patrol. It is possible the soldiers fell prey to a monster. If this suspicion is confirmed, anyone delivering the beast head will be paid a reward by the undersigned. Address any and all questions of the same individual. Glory to the Emperor. Millen Norad, commander of the division station Orton. Orton. Where is that? Contract. The mystery of the byways murders. Level 22. This guardian patrol has gone missing. Map me up. Oh, we have to go speak to... Uh, the commander first before he tells us the location. Let's do that, seeing as we're right here. Sheath your weapon. Yeah, <laughs> just in the middle of doing that. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. What brings you here? More if it rains. Here's the contract. Saw your notice. Can anyone tell me about the monster? I can. The patrol has been lost, somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windomer. We must know why. What makes this witcher's work? Some brickmakers live south of here. They call their village Byways. Almost empty now. Many have run away. They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves... One option. A monster. 
You must learn what happened to this patrol. The Empire places great value on the lives of its soldiers. Do this, learn well what happened. The reward will be proper. Exactly how proper? Need more coin. Offers not nearly enough. Let's start at three quarters. What's that saying about there? You are mad, Monster Slayer. The Imperial Army is not the Society for the Protection and Well-Being of Mutants. Okay. I want that. Let's try that. This is close to reasonable. We might yet agree. So half of that has a quarter on. This is close to reasonable. We might yet agree. This much we can pay. Kaching. Consider it done. Deal. I'll see what happened to your patrol, whether there really is a monster in byways. Good. Good. Contract, the mystery of the byways and murders. Sounds like uh, Miss Marple or I guess the Christine mission. Right, where's it go? Ah, oh, okay. I think we shall defend the faith and then maybe pop down there. Or we could do that first and then we're not backtracking. I like the idea of that. So, set the marker there for me boat, which I can now not see in my mini map. So that doesn't really make much help. There's me boat. And splish. Who didn't like uh, swimming at night in the freezing cold waters? Devour infested freezing cold waters. And back. Got a bit of damage to this boat already. Masterful skill as I reverse the boat. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and it's slower because I'm reversing Y. <laughs> Wind is slower backwards. I could quite easily be biting off a lot more than I can chew here. Bet now. I've got a big red skull symbol saying you're biting off more than you can chew. Ah, we'll just stick our nose and see see what's there. Treasure, treasure. Let's stick our nose over at the treasure as well, actually. While we're at it, see how big and nasty the monster is that is protecting hidden treasure. I think I'll just moor my boat here. Thank you very much. What? Let's get good old necrophage oil. Enhanced necrophage. Seven zero three a.m. Oh, we've got Wraith. Ouch, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Nope, that's not what I meant. Oh. 
Let's eat some food, actually. Smoochin essence of wraith. Smells like peaches. Oh, we've got a stone of power. Oh, it must be below me in a cave, maybe. Don't you yard yarden very often, so I keep getting fuggled as to which key it is. Oh well, look at them all. Ah, oh, that hit. Come on. Bites at us. Race mutagen, stuff like that. And that's the last of them. He says, spotting another one immediately. Bell and Elven Runes near Lake something or other. I think there must be a treasure beneath me as well. Unsent letter and key to chess. Let's read this unsent letter. Dear Elki, thanks the gods fools believe in them. We made good use of the fact that twice of that fact twice now. Firstly, when we stole the Lord of Silver from the temple, no one was watching it. Because who would be brave enough to risk the gods' wrath by desecrating such a holy place? And then we hid it all in rooms said to have been cursed by the elven gods, no less. No one goes near there, no one even looks at them too closely, so we didn't even we didn't really have to hide it. As treasures safe as theirs and even in the Vivaldi's bank. We'll spend the night in the woods, then I'll ride to Novigrad, find a buyer for the whole stash. We're going to be rich, 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 Elkie. And maybe then I'll throw something into in the plate, a token of my gratitude to superstition and stupidity. Don't play with the gods, track quest. Let's track that quest. Search for treasure in the elven rooms using your witcher scent. It must be Elkie. Noon rays, uh oh. Noon, noon rays. 
Moon dust bomb, which we still don't have yet. Spectre oil, yard and sign. And these things are tough. Tough, 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 tough. Spectre oil, spectre oil. Poison's not going to do any good. That might. Swallow. What's that? That's not going to help. New Night Wrist Decoction. Griffin Decoction. Tony Owl. Black Blood Cat. Nothing's really jumping out at me. I'll leave some of that. And some Thunderbolt. I'll have to use it when I'm out of the menu. So the yard and sign slows them down, but also makes them corporal, so you can hit the damn thing. It's easy when you know how. Search for treasure. Still searching. Am I missing an entrance down or something? I've got my Witcher Sense on. Let's go back up. Oh, yeah, I missed the red thing. What's that? Get that as well. Don't play with the gods. Quest updated. Quest completed. Don't play with the gods. Virgin Arches Gambeson and Morana Runestone. Let's have a look at them. Not better than what I've got on at the moment, really. This ring stone. Chance to poison, not so great against undead. Chance to freeze, chance to stun. 3% adrenaline point gain. That's going to be useful against everything, I would have thought. And I can't just slot it, can I? Oh, I can. Fantastic. Cause bleeding, poison. Gonna put all that in there. Okay, I'm moving on to fix all the shrines. What's that? Oh, yes. 
Oh, there's the other one. Okay, we'll go. We're going south. Say what? That was ridiculous. I could survive that fall. What did they do? Fall on your sword, girl. Thank God for a recent quick save, eh? Now I understand why people keep talking about a mod to reduce falling damage. Okay, let's grab this stuff again. And... Da 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 da... Did it not give me the rune this time around? Did I actually pick it up? Yeah, I did. Sigh. Chance to cause burning. That's one advantage of using the fast attack skill. You don't do as much damage, but in the same amount of time, you do a lot more hits. With every single hit, you have a, another chance to trigger off this 2% this, the 3% that, you know, the 4% the other, whatever special abilities you've got on your weapons. Stun. That's that. Chance of course burning. Yeah, I think that's a solid choice for the steel weapon. And I can still dismantle them, actually. No, no, let's not jump. Still got a treasure marker beneath me. It's a bit frustrating. I can't see it. it. It must be underground. It must be underground. So, anyway, we are moving on to there. Oop, come on, Moat. Spread our way through the trees. Not so fast, Roach. That's it, Roach. Ghouls. And where there's ghouls, there's usually corpses. And I'm sure ghouls are necrophages, but we'll just double check. Ghouls, yeah, necrophage. And where's my enhanced necrophage? Kind of smoke houses here. Ooh, they're tough ghouls as well. We may need to make a sharp exit. Don't think that
closer. Which of the bombs do I have left? Bomb, 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 bomb. Down a thunderbolt. Damn it. They're tough, aren't they? Are you healing? Very unsportsmanlike. I'm trying to focus on the one. Not entirely sure why that one is healing. So I'll focus on one of the other ones. Or at least try to. through the trees. That's one down. Finally. You're attacking my horse. Damn it. Oh, what a hag. Take out that water hack. Really affecting my vision. In your face. Like shooting it with a marshmallow. Come on, ugly. There's a lone one over here. Trying to get my eye on that one.
They're healing up. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I cannot seem to overcome the speed of their regeneration. They're all full, fully health. Gonna have to make a sharp exit. Oh, I can't jump when I'm in combat. Because that would be too easy. Go on, Roach. What on earth is that symbol? don't know but it seems to be a below ground we'll come back for them later come on. try and give it a bit of a wide berth so dark even though it's 10.55 a.m. Pick up the pace. Oh. Slower. Race. Where are they off to? That's it, Roach. Oh. Get out of there, Roach. I think I need my steel one for these. Not good. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Destroyed this one too. Twenty five experience points received. How are we doing? Okay. Let's check the map on the mission. I think we head up to Kira next. Make our way past those ghouls as best we can. I'll just run past them really, really fast.
God. One of my weapons is Whoa, there. in a bad shape. Three percent left. Jeez. Nope, not that one. Hardly touched it. Need to find a, uh, a weaponsmith to repair it. I thought I heard not a flapping noise. Yeah, I think we'll come back for that later, Roach. Oh, frying pan. Fire. This is a shrine. Okay, let's go say hello. You the ones destroying shrines all over Valen? What's that got to do with you? What's it got to do with you? We are the Heralds of Lightning. Heavy drops from leaden clouds. Unleashed, the Lightning's name shall be Overman. No fear of the gods' wrath. The locals claim the gods are unhappy. No fear of their wrath. The wrath of the gods? The gods are dead. We but dispose of their rotting remains, the dying embers of superstition that harms. Great. Need a favor, though. You gotta clean up after yourselves here. Then go back to wherever you came from, dispose of those embers there. Religion is the opiate of the masses. The gods are dead. Thus speaks Master Friedrich of Oxenfurt. Common folk fear religion and the priests, not the gods. And this fear enslaves us in fetters of ignorance. We must forge a new morality, or rid ourselves of morality altogether. I'm not in the mood, really, just to chop these people down just because they're uh, chopping down wooden shrines. You'll do what you want, but if I were you, I'd get out of here, on account of the ghouls. And you beware, for he who long fights monsters turns monster himself, and the, uh, abyss gazes into him also. Sheesh, students. Is there a land where I might find more of your kind? Yeah, it was okay, it was just upgrading a few shrines, killing maybe monsters around it, but you cut down students? Well, it could no. be quite profitable. You call this living, Witcher? Can it get any worse? Well, well. What do you want? Let's see what the quest update has to say regarding that. Uh, Defenders of the Faith. While following the trail of damage, Holy Scythegar encountered a group of young men who le he learned were students at Oxenfurt Academy, influenced by some radical philosopher. He had taken up arms in battle against religion. The Witcher engaged them in philosophical discussion, which threatened to come to a blow, but luckily merely ended with the exchange of profanities and insults. Yeah. and displayed in the sideshow of the sun. On Tequila. And finally we have some daylight at midday. Oh, 
Hopefully there's a, a weaponsmith in here. Slow now. Whoa. I'll be back, Roach. Said a hag to a hag. Now here's a stone. I'll shove a rake for her pet cunt. And did the Baron's men bring the village? You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Can you craft something and repair something and Need sell me something? something. Crafted. How much to repair all? That is pretty much all I've got. But it needs to be repaired. Now, I think talking about dismantling. Should have kept that wild hunt warrior sword on me. I imagine I would have got some good components off that. Shop. Okay, so let's sell. Sell. Sell all that stuff. That's a free stun stagger. I'm gonna sell the stagger stuff. Make a bit of coin, what's that? Witcher gear. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Rusty hammerhead. The black pearl. And the normal pearl. Poo again. That didn't take long. Farewell. <sighs> so long. Well, at least everything's in tip top shape. Supposed to be a merchant around here. Stuff, 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 stuff. Sir! Boy, we're up to our noses in frights and horrors. Imps, Samovillas, mammoons, flying drakes, pikes, oh, and bats. Right. Come on, Roach. You, white one. What's ah. your business? They watch it, you clod. <laughs> you tell a Roach. <laughs> I'm finally back to Kira's house. Without Roach. And I think I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next episode, we'll speak to Kira, tell her the uh, what happened at the Tower of Mice and this uh, plague spirit. So, if you did enjoy it, please leave me a like. Uh, please subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will speak to you next time. Bye for now.